Okay, everybody, we have Joanne that I'm going to interview here. And Joanne came to us. Uh, I think I think she's really excited to hopefully share this with you uh, because she had an issue with hammer toes, or two toes specifically, that were hammered. And you'd had this for what, how long, Joanne? 30 years. 30 years. And you had seen multiple doctors? I have seen maybe one or two, and one or went, two. wow, that's bad. You might have to have them uh, tend the tendon, uh, you know, clips or snipped. something. And I'm going, no, 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 okay, okay, okay. Right. And I said, no, I'm not going to do that. What other things were suggested to you um, since we're talking about that? Oh, all those spacers, things, spacers right. and I taped my toes, and I tried to bend them back. Right. And, you know, so, they were working. You came in to see me, and what did I suggest? He said, nope, they got to come off. <laughs> and I went, okay, I was yeah. heard that three times. You've heard that before? I heard that from my primary care. Oh, you did? When I was in New York, because okay. I come from New York. And he, he said, said, those well, might have to come Colorado, off. to go see your primary care. When I went to my primary care here, he goes, well, is there anything else you want to talk about? I says, I got to show you my toes. He took it. He goes, ah, ah, they got to come off. He says, I'll give you a doctor that you guys says, I don't want them. And he says, no, 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 go see him. Yeah. So I came here and you took an x-ray and you put it up on the screen. You go, no, nope, I got to come off. I got to come off. <laughs> so they're gone. So they're gone. But I got my shoes on. And you are happy. I cannot tell you yes. that I do not have to worry about putting socks or shoes on anymore and i'm wearing right. my favorite boots favorite new boots. Pair, and i went to church sunday with a new pair of boots wow that i bought last year that fit except when i wore them 20 minutes the hammer toe would just rub but yeah and i went oh i can't wear these and i went sunday and i put them on and i was as happy as wow heaven. ever okay yes. and so how was the recovery the um, it's 20, uh, the 2nd of November is when I had them removed. This is the 28th, so that's 26 days. Last week I wanted to take the bandages off. Right. Because I, I don't, I don't, I heal very fast. Right, but not I much pain after to... surgery? Zero. Zero pain. Zero pain. Zero pain. The pain was the bandages. I wanted the bandages were out there. I wanted them probably more. keeping it dry. Right. right, so now I am in zero pain. Excellent. And I don't have to get up and think about walking anymore. Excellent. That's such a good story. Yeah. Now, I'm going to pan down here. So, for you who's watching, this, she's not fully healed. But, I'm, and you won't, you're not going to see the toes. They're missing. But I'm going to kind of explain what was going on with her toes. They, they were her second toes. And you can see that's where they used to be. But her second toes were deviated and coming over. And they were on top of the big toe. Big toe. And same thing over here. Second toe was deviated it wasn't coming out straight but deviated so that it was sitting a lot of it was sitting on top of the, the first dent? toe you see the d indentation oh yeah this indentation was happening in, in, because indentation right there yeah so the option a some people say oh well just straighten all the toes well we'd have to straighten that one straighten that one maybe even straighten that one to get them all lined up that requires taking bone out of the joints requires pinning all the joints and this is so much easier to just take the toe off. Less complication, less chance or risk, very simple layout. And uh, I, I love doing these because it's very low risk, relatively speaking, and very little recovery. And yeah. people put up a fight <laughs> a little bit because it doesn't sound right. I, I, I get it because you're removing something and you're never going to get it back. But it can be very rewarding. And it's a lot of times that's something we wouldn't do on somebody in their 20s or 30s. But as we get more into our older years, it's very appropriate and it works very well. So, uh, you know, I have very strong feelings about it. It works incredibly well. So if you're listening out there in your cir cir similar circumstance, it's something to consider wherever you are in the country. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Absolutely. Anything else I can say, Joanne? You've been a really good patient. I'm so. walking. Yes, indeed. I'm talking. Okay. About you and oh. me, I'm walking. Oh. <laughs> the song just <laughs> came up. Yes. The song just That's came cute. Up. That's so, right. If you're new to this, uh, our channel here, 
on YouTube, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, Anderson Podiatry Center. And, uh, and this is the first time we've done a video on over, this is really about overlapping hammer toes. And that's what you have. So, but thank you for sharing. I'm sure it's going to reach somebody else out there that can be helped just thank like you. Thank you for relieving my pain. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.